Swimming time. Swim <coughs> Swimming time. Um, oh crap. I couldn't really do much, judging that um, I was going to change the tiny cubicle. Uh, it's just the same, basically, the same as the gym. They just uh, made it a one way system. Yeah, no, it was fun. I had a good time and I'm very exhausted, so I got myself a, 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 little, a little shake that I can drink and feel good about myself. Oh boy, down the hatch. Welcome back to the vlog. It is a Tuesday. It's lovely Tuesday. It's like three o'clock now. Quite a few things to do still on my agenda. But today is kind of a nice day. It's kind of like almost finishing off. It's like the day before. Like, I reckon tomorrow will be a day where I finish off quite a lot of stuff. Like, oh, I need to take off these socks. These socks are wet. Ugh, ugh, wet socks. Get off my feet. Get in the bin, Chuck. Missed. Hey, let's go. It's also, ah, that was smooth. Get off. Ah, but I can kind of start finishing some stuff off. But I do need to start something today, and that is Charlie's edit. That needs to be done by tonight. Gonna take me a bit. I need to find a good score for it. That's the, that, you know, I feel like 70% of editing is like finding songs. It's a nightmare. I use um, Epidemic Sound for my music. Not sponsored, but they're very good. They have sound effects as well. I'm a very big fan of it. I, I do, yeah. That's nice. This is good. It's like ice cream soup, but. It's a good few apparently, so I'll take their word for it. It has some numbers and stuff on the bottle, so I'll drink it. Oh, phone. Right, okay. Also, my jungle down a bit. Not doing too well, as you can probably see. It's not doing great, and uh, I'm really worried about it. So I might need to go to Plan B for bringing a plant to university. Um, might have to see what I can do. I need to get on and finish off my vlog for today and get some other stuff done. Did I just spend an hour making a TikTok? Yeah. Is it worth it? Probably, probably not. I'll update you on how it goes, but um, I need to finish doing an upload for Liftoff that you might have already seen. It's already posted, so you can probably check it out now, but I'm doing the post now. I've got to do a few other things, as well as edit Charlie's short film by the end of tonight. It's going to be a two-minute short film. It's pretty fun. It's going to be pretty epic. I can't wait to do it. The sun's starting to come out. Wow. Hopefully this TikTok takes off. It's, it's my 100-day one. It's me saying, hey, I've done 100 days of quarantine, and um, it would be pretty cool if people see it it might get a few new faces at the channel and who knows this is in the past so hello new people if you come from that video we'll see yeah i have quite a bit to do and then uh i have a few things i want to talk about because it's pretty awesome hi lads it's been a long day so i'm gonna think i'm gonna end it here it's been very busy this is not enough to make a vlog i'm sure i think it's something to put in here oh um um Hello, Max from the future here. Tomorrow, Max in the past was stupid. He kind of forgot about vlogging. So I'm going to take over here and just not to confuse you from tomorrow's video. I'm going to I'm going to take off my jumper so you can tell the difference. And now I'm cold. Today, I'm going to be talking about three, three things you know, uh, that you need to have in your camera bag. You need to have them. If you don't, <laughs> joking, you won't get shot. You... Maybe. I've got the t-shirt on as well to correlate with the video. To be honest, I don't. This is just three cool things you should probably have in your camera bag. You don't have to get them. I don't want to make you try and get stuff, but there's three suggestions that I have. I enjoy them. Please don't bully me. Where is it going? Screw it. I'll show the picture. Surely. Oh, it is. Number one, I've probably spoken about this in other videos before, but I want to say it again because it's one of the best things I own. Peak design camera strap attachments. You have to have them. If you're into photography, get them. It just allows you to attach and reattach. Detach and reattach your um, camera from camera straps. You don't always want to be the camera strap guy. You know, you don't want to look like a nerd all the time. It's like, having a peak design camera strap is like having gla- How do I put this? Actually, there's not really a good, good- I was about to say having glasses, but that doesn't really- It just allows you to be more versatile with your camera and frees up some hand space so you can move stuff and then also have the camera. Because camera straps can be helpful, like really helpful. Filmography, maybe not. I know they do hand- You can attach them to hand straps as well. You can connect to anything really. But um, I haven't used it for filming yet, but I haven't been in the situation where I've had to. They're on Amazon. They're pretty pricey, I must say, but smashing. Just sm just smashing product. They might go on sale. Number two. I know i probably heard people talk about this, but I can't express it enough. Hard drives. Hard drives. There's a reason why everyone has a hard drive, and that's because everyone loses their stuff. It stresses me out that people are editing without a hard drive. It, it does. Um, for the first, like, term of college, I went without a hard drive. My computer got overloaded, and it crashed a few times. Me out of my computer because I used up all my Apple storage. I couldn't do any more projects. I had to start deleting my old college work to do new college work. And then when it got down to the time where I had to hand in some of my old stuff, I couldn't re-edit it, meaning that I had to start the whole project again because I didn't have a hard drive. Drive. Now I get it. Some people prefer to have lots of Apple storage, lots of 
ah, the radiator. I get it, some people want to have like terabyte computer storage, but what if you break your computer? You've not only lost the ability to make stuff, but you also lost all your stuff. What's not good? Unless you upload it all to the cloud, there's other stuff you can do. I highly suggest looking on Amazon, there's loads of companies that do them. I use Seagate ones, but also there's some other brilliant companies that you've probably seen a lot of, but they can be pricey, but it's worth it. And then the final thing on my list is this. Hello, slightly turning around. This is a SD card case, quick and simple. Joe and I have the same one, so I put my sticker on mine just in case we mix them up. Comes with a little clip attachment so you can clip it onto stuff. This is waterproof, it's sealed, it's rugged, it's not gonna damage, and it can hold up to 24 SD cards. That's 12 micro SDs and 12 normal SD cards. What's more than enough? These are insanely cheap for how good they are on Amazon. I can't stress them enough. It's one of those underrated things. I wanted to do some stuff that might seem too obvious, but just started. I mean, I got this like a year ago. I had no idea that something like this existed. Um, so without further ado, thank you for joining me as always. If you did like the video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. There's some better videos, there's some way better videos than this. Today's been a strange day. It's been a very strange day. And I'll see you tomorrow. We'll have something fun planned. I actually have something decent planned for tomorrow. So make sure you, you make it there. I'm going to take the hell off. That's all from me today. Hope, hopefully you, you, you have a nice day. And I'll see you later. Goodbye.